So previously, I've shown you guys in the preview tools a couple of the new features. A uh, few things are really great, for example, picture in picture mode, this on the screen navigation bar stuff. So now this has been changed and so many things happen here. So I'll be showing you guys all the features, you know, new features that are added, the things that are removed and some of the things have been moved here and here. So right now I have installed that on my Google Pixel XL and I have kept this new Nexus 6P on the PV2 just to show you guys here the complete differences. So let's get started and see. First things you will notice here that once you disconnect your mobile data on the both the phones and right now you can see just an offline mode here once you just disconnect you can see the on this uh, mobile network signal the cross has been moved to the top side on this uh, Google Pixel uh, that is which is running on WPO3 on the preview 2 DP2 it is on the downside so that has been the first change you can see that and also along with that once you go inside this app drawer or you can just uh, swipe down here you can see the battery uh, status bar or you can see the battery bar a little bit darker uh, compared to what you see earlier uh, it's now a little bit more toward the black and earlier it is a little bit toward the gray color. so these are the two changes you will notice on the status bar so once you go inside this settings and inside this apps and notification you can see uh, the individual uh, settings icons has been removed from here so that is something uh, you know strange here but it looks very cool here so also you go inside this advanced you can see the emergency broadcast section has been added here which was not there on the depth preview 2 also you can see on the special app access it shows you a quick preview here on the depth preview 3 but it's not showing you on the depth preview 2 so these things have also been added so once you go inside this battery just go here to the three dot section you will see the usage alert option has been removed from the dp3 and it's still there on the dp2 which was uh, not so helpful but that's why i guess you can see there is nothing much informative here that's why uh, google has removed that feature here and also guys do notice here inside this advanced section there is an option of picture in picture i'll show you guys later why i did mention here also guys once you go inside this battery i did notice a strange issue you can see for example the applications here for i'm just taking here youtube so you can see down here uh, you got a new uh, some things are removed from the background activity it's not like that it's removed from all the places also if i just go to twitter here just to give you an example which application is common on both the places say entity benchmark and uh, here you can see the background activity is added there so this thing is a little bit strange to me in few places is there in few places this is not there if you go to the display section under the settings you can see uh, earlier on the dp2 there was a sleep option which is a screen off time which was removed from this dp3 and now it has been added inside this battery section even though it was still there on the battery section but it has been removed from the display just to make you know a single point of activity but we got so used to our going inside the display now in case you have to return your screen sleep time you need to go inside this battery then you have to find option called sleep now guys let's go inside the display again so biggest feature that is added this time is called as a night light you can see now it has been added you have the option never customize schedule sunrise to sunset once you say make a sunlight to sunset so it should not turn off but it is turning that on you can control the intensity so it's a quite good move here and also you can just customize the schedule how you want it or you can just make it to turn off so that's a new feature added here so i guess that feature also came inside the android nougat when it was in the preview build let's go inside this system and i'll show you here you can see under the backup option on the dp3 now it is showing you as a backup uh, current status it is turned on so while it was mixed on the previous one you can see now most of the icons are working here preview i mean so backup was on and other things are also showing and also you can see and uh, now the android version has been final even though we know that it is android uh, O or Android 8 now you can see on the DP2 it is updated to Android O now it is showing you updated to Android 8.8.8.0.0 dot dot sorry for that and also you can see once you go into download session you can see Nexus 6P has an update OP P3 that means Android O pre program 3 compiled on 18th May 2017 and you got a size of 334 MB that is megabytes now guys the biggest thing that I wanted to show you here once you go inside the system in both the places so uh, you can see the picture in picture mode the navigation bar the lock screen stuff like in a quick shortcut from here and there that has been removed so this is navigation bar stuff once you do that couple of copy pasting things so it was nice but since system like features are you know uh, kind of unstable beta versions that have they are been removed and also if i just remind you the power control notification has been removed from the dp1 which was still there in the android nougat phones but that was a very very cool feature i really don't know why they removed that but even though that has been removed 
Now guys, once you go inside the security and location, few things I want to show you here. First off, you can see go inside the verify applications. It is showing you as a play protect. It was not here earlier. You can see it was just a little bit optimized more. It shows you more details here. Play protect. Even though the name is actually you can see verify apps here. Once you go inside, you can see the name has been changed to play protect here. And these things are almost same. And you can show the more recent activities here. So I guess it is not scanning here, but it does shows you looks fine. And these options are still same. So once you go inside this device security, this gear icon, you can see uh, this option has been removed. Inside the DP3, there is no option to make pattern visible. This has been removed from the DP3. So uh, that is nice. Actually, nobody wants to you know, make your password visible. It's a good move. Now guys, if you remember, we talked about the picture in picture mode options. And once you go inside the settings, apps and notifications, then just for the sake of difference, I have taken YouTube again. So you can see still there is an option called as a picture in picture. I don't know, uh, even if you just turn off from here, this thing has been removed. So it looks like it is being permanently embedded to the Android instead of the system UI tuner feature. So this thing is going to come in always for you. That's why you can see still this picture in picture option is still there on your Android 8.0.0. The clock application also has been redesigned in the DP3. Earlier it was a little bit purple in color. Now you can see it's a little bit blue in the color. Looks cool. And once you go inside, you got the dark mode here. So uh, Google keeps on doing this thing. I guess they will remove it and soon. Otherwise, uh, it looks fine. And guys, the new camera version for the Android OS has been moved to the 4.4. It was 4.3 earlier. So they are total three changes here. First off, you can see earlier, you know, uh, to switch between the camera and the video mode, you just need to swipe it all. So this thing is still there. But you can see there is a dedicated button now you can just easily click here it here so i guess they should move the button the same place you know just to avoid this conflict and also just move to the camera thing here you can see now here you can see there is a tiny circle here so clear to that it was a smaller camera there just to you know, switch between the selfie modes and also this ring here this is now a little bit much wider you can see the outer white ring is a little bit you know thinner now earlier it was much broader so there are total three changes in this Android camera version 4.4 so we have seen the features and changes and bugs a lot of things are there now let's see guys a quick look on the performance in terms of geek in the end too but the preview builds always has a lower score you know because these builds are meant for adding features and moving features so company will never focus on you know making the build more performance improvement when the day it becomes the public the company may you know put on the more effort making the build stable so most of the times you may find that the scores keeps on decreasing but again guys if you run it again you might get different results always so do not take this number as a point of you know decision whether you should install the build or not what matter is really whether your apps are working fine or not your batteries working fine or not are there any other scores or not so these are the scores we have seen till now so guys that's been it these are the features some of the major features you know changes and things that have happened on the android o so stay tuned guys if something new major are uh, i did found that i will show you guys later otherwise this things looks fine and stay tuned for the channel maybe in a couple of days i will give you guys the detailed usage review whether your android o build the stall on the pixel and the nexus are working fine or not so that whether you should be upgrading to the android o pure 3 or not and since i'm using that my pixel as a daily driver along with my galaxy so i do get pretty much good stuff when i use that so once again guys thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you guys in the next one have a great day